Hello, my honorable audience. Nice to see you. Welcome to the earth science classroom. It's a place to learn, a place to grow, and then watch our show. Today, I'd like to introduce a high-functioning tool for you guys. It's called the Global Earthquake Explorer. As we know, it can help you to explore recent earthquakes, to explore a regional hotspot, and to have a seismograph day viewer and a real-time viewer as well. And then we select the first function. It's a world map. Wait a minute. Oh, the circle. Oh, sorry, each circle means an earthquake happened uh, maybe hours ago, a day ago, or sometime nearby. And then we can choose this button. We can zoom in on the map. Instead. This one, you can zoom out on the map. If we choose the hand, you can move the map. If we choose this button, you can move the map faster. And if we choose one, it's a, each triangle means a station which is built for detecting the earthquake. And if you have any trouble, please press the button help. Okay, so here, the map key. So the colors means the depth of the earthquakes, and the red one means it's a shallow earthquake, and the orange one means it's a medium earthquake, and, and the yellow one means it happened in a deep crust. And the station, if you select one station, it will turn into a white line surrounding a triangle. Okay, let's get back and select one station. I would like a women. I would like this one in Taiwan. And we press the button, look select his station. Okay, we can see the seismogram display. It's a diagram for the detected seismic waves, and uh, oh, the amplitude is from, and which one we can play it from left to right. Move faster. Okay, so uh, the x-axis is time, and the y-axis is distance. So, uh, as we can see, the earthquake made end in um, sorry on um, eleven twenty. Okay, there are still a lot of functions waiting for you guys to explore, and uh, unfortunately, this is the end of our program. I would like to say goodbye.